It's Monday the 4th of May, the Monday of the 4th week of Easter Tide. Welcome to St Paul's on the day when the church in this country traditionally remembers the saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. Just to the north of our parish, 15 minutes from the church, is Tyburn, the ancient place of public execution in London, and a place particularly associated with the death of Catholic martyrs in the English Reformation. The Tyburn Convent stands by as a reminder. But travel just a couple of miles to the east and you come to Smithfield, where many Protestant martyrs met their deaths in the turbulent days of the 16th and 17th centuries. These events, these tragic if often principal deaths, are geographically therefore very close to us. You can travel from for 15 minutes from here and stand where blood has been shed for belief. But of course religious persecution is not far from us in other senses too, because martyrdom, people paying for their beliefs and convictions with their lives, are not confined to the past. In our own day, indeed on this very day around the world, people of goodwill, people of conscience will face brutality, defending what they believe needs to be defended. So at this office we give thanks for the courage and the strength that flows from God and makes witness to truth possible in every age, and particularly in our own. And instead of a, a reflection in words, shall we after the reading, offer to God a, a saraband with the help of Finlay Spencer, our cello and composition scholar, as a lament for the cost of witness in human lives, but also in thanksgiving for their bravery. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. We say together, yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. The appointed psalm is Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up, and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name, for his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. 
beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given you at that time, for it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved.
Let us pray. On this day, we remember the suffering of those who testify to Christ in their struggle with the oppressive powers at work in their societies, and pray for all those who this day will bear in their own bodies and lives the marks of Christ's passion. And let us pray not only for Christians facing persecution around the world this day, but for all who stand up for the principles of openness, truth and freedom in their own communities around the world. May they and we find strength in the suffering of Christ and in the promise of God's love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Sarah, Bishop of London, for St Paul's K Street in Washington, our sister parish, and for All Saints in Nama Villa in Mozambique, for all Christian people in this season of Eastertide, and on this day especially for unity within the body of Christ, and for the healing of those historic divisions that remain among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray for those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Let us remember those who this day care for the sick. And let us remember those, wherever they are, who seek to bring comfort and consolation in places of suffering and darkness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all the faithful departed and all who have died this past day. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Merciful God, who, when your church on earth was torn apart by the ravages of sin, raised up men and women in this land, who witnessed to their faith with courage and with constancy. Give to your church that peace which is your will, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven and may share in the vision of your glory. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we sum up all our prayers in the words our Saviour taught his church, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen.